Hello everybody, welcome in to the Dodger Blue YouTube channel. I'm Trevor Lane, filling in over here at Dodger Blue. <laughs> Make sure you do subscribe and turn on those notifications. Typically you guys see me over on the Lakers Nation YouTube channel, but talking a little bit of Dodgers today. Joining me is Daniel Starkin. Daniel, how are you doing? Doing well. We're, we're here in the Blue Wire studio in Las Vegas. Appreciate you filling in here, talking a little Dodgers, Trevor. I know uh, you're, you're a big Lakers guy, but I know you watch a little baseball too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, I try to be as well-rounded as I as I can be. Today, we're going to focus on some of the young Dodgers players because these guys are really having to step up and do some things for the boys in blue. So let's start with uh, Miguel Vargas. What are your thoughts on on him? What he's been doing? I mean, on base percentage over seven hundred. Like that's ridiculous. Yeah. How is how is that possible? Uh, it, it's insane. He as of now he has the most walks in all of baseball. He he's walked in more than half his plate appearances, which. For a young guy, that's typically not what you see, like just starting out in their career. That's usually something that gets developed over time. So that just shows how advanced he is as a hitter already at a, such a young age. And, and that was kind of the MO on him coming up. Like they weren't exactly sure where he was going to play defensively, but they knew the bat would play. And, and I should add, he, he's he's settled in really nicely at second base. He's, he's looked solid there defensively. But for for a guy his age to to be walking as much as he did is is almost unheard of and it, honestly it's kind of funny he he reported to spring training this year with a little hairline fracture in his pinky so for the first like 2 weeks he wasn't able to swing a bat but they were still playing him in games so he could get comfortable defensively so he could track pitches and and he was walking in those games like guys pitchers knew that he, he couldn't swing and they still couldn't throw him strikes. And I honestly think that ended up benefiting him, like just being able to track pitches um, all the way into the glove. That that benefits you a lot as far as strike zone coverage, knowing where the zone is. And, and we're seeing that early on here. He's been, he's been phenomenal so far. All right, let, let's talk a little bit about James Outman, the guy who's getting all, all kinds of buzz, already has a homer, has uh, two triples in, in one game. What are your thoughts on him? Obviously, people are pretty excited. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and he's he doesn't quite have the prospect pedigree that Vargas has. So he was a bit more of a question mark coming into the year. I know they called him up for a couple of weeks last year and he tore the cover off the ball. He was incredible. But but the biggest question was can he repeat that? And no nobody expects him to repeat that like MVP type numbers, but can he show that he's an, an MLB hitter? We know the defense in center field is great, but to this point like like you said, he, he's got a homer. He had two triples in one game. He's been producing better than anyone could have expected and, and he, he's still striking out which has been the knock on him but that that becomes less concerning when he, he's making the hard contact that he has been so he's another guy uh, another rookie who um w was a big question mark coming into the year and, and to this point has kind of you know eased those nerves you know amongst the dodger fans well vargas his ability to get on base doesn't that kind of play well without mip he does have a, a higher strikeout rate yeah absolutely i mean and i think vargas has pretty much been right in front of him in the batting order every game so that's kind of how it's been like vargas walks and get on and gets on base and then outman drives him in so it's been great all right let, let's talk a little bit about about michael grove um four scoreless innings mm -hmm. so far what what are your thoughts on on where he's at yeah so so he 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 his first outing was kind of a mixed bag. Like you mentioned, he goes out there and, and throws four scoreless innings to start. And then in the fifth inning, the wheels kind of came off. He, he, he did get, um, he, he, he did have some bad luck. Uh, there, there was, it was, it was a three, two count in a, in a guy on first base. He throws a pit, a pitch that was in the zone. You could see they had the K zone there. It was clearly a strike. So it should have been a strikeout and the guy was stealing and they threw him out. So it should have been a, a strike him out, throw him out, double play. Instead, they call it ball four, so it's two guys on, um, and then a ground ball gets through, and, and his outing was kind of done from there. But I'd say for the first four innings, he looked really good, and and he's a guy who wasn't even supposed to be on you know this roster, at least to start the season. He was just more of like a depth-type piece, but because of injuries, Tony Gonsolin got hurt. Ryan Pepio, you know, right on opening day, um, ends up getting hurt. So so they end up calling up Michael Grove, and, and he's going to be their fifth starter for the time being, and I think – even though the numbers didn't look great, I thought he pitched really well in his first outing. Um, I, I thought his fastball looked as good as it's looked uh, in the last couple of years in the, in the short time that we've seen him. So he, he's a guy who's not going to necessarily be in the rotation all season long. But when he's one of your depth pieces that's filling in and could give you five you know, solid innings the way he did, um, that, that's about all you could ask for for, for for a guy like that. Sure, sure. Um, let's talk about Andre Jackson a bit. Three scoreless innings, gets gets a save. What are we looking at out of here with him? Is this 
I mean, the closer role for the, for the Dodgers, it was something that's been <laughs> certainly a, a question mark here yeah. heading into into the season. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm putting him in the in the closer role just yet, but he, he did look really good in that outing. They're going to need guys that could eat innings throughout the course of the season, and he's a guy who could either start or relieve, and, and that's why you saw he, he threw three innings out of the bullpen because he's built up as a starter. So he could give you that length. And, and, you know, it, it, it's kind of that, that game where he gets a three-inning save. It's kind of a lopsided, and you just kind of need someone to, to save the bullpen for the rest of the day, and, and he got the job done. So he's kind of like the new version of the Ross Stripling, of the Mitch White, who are guys who maybe they're not necessarily good enough to be in the rotation, but they could still eat innings for you and, and be quality at that. I feel like Dre is a guy who's steadily improved over the years. to the Like, he was ne never really on the radar to begin with. Um, and now he, he made the opening day roster and he's, he's pitching key innings. So I'd say as a whole, all of these young guys, uh, the contributions they've given in the first you know, week of the season is, is super encouraging. We know the Dodgers didn't necessarily have this big offseason where they went out and signed a bunch of guys. And the reason for that is because they believe in a lot of these young guys. They, they could come in and contribute right away. And, and to this point, that's what we've seen so far. I know it's still very early. I'm not necessarily running to bet on James Outman for MVP sure. just yet, um, but it, but it's been really encouraging overall. Right, right, right. I mean, don't want to get ahead of yourself, of course, with, with young <laughs> players, but still, it's early, but good things so far. But uh, Dodgers fans, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Again, make sure you are subscribing right here to the Dodger Blue YouTube channel. Till next time, see ya and stay safe.